Hello, hello. Hey, Corbin. Not a little bit earlier, but didn't want to let me today. I was hoping that it just wouldn't crash. Hello, Erica. Oh, no. There we go. Hello, hello. Give it a few more seconds and then we will chit chat about a new saint today. I'm excited about this one. Super, super excited. Um, I hope you guys are checking. Hi, Erica. I hope you guys are checking your emails because I just sent email, sent an email out um, today about our updated schedule. I'm super, 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 super excited. I did not see your studio yet, Corbin. I'll have to check that out after this. Um, Life Teen is doing a live event, a live life night at five o'clock on Sunday. And their series, I think, is going to be, like, bonkers. Super, super pumped about it. Um, super pumped. Yeah, today is uh, Superhero Day for Virtual Spirit Week. So I'd love to see your superheroes. I tried to come up with something today, and it failed miserably. So I'll have to keep thinking, or I'll just dress JoJo up as a superhero later. We'll just have to see. All right. Well, today... Um, we are going to learn about St. Amelda Lambertini. I think is how you say it, Lambertini, close enough, whatever. No one's here to tell me no, so we'll say that's the way you do it. Um, so St. Amelda um, was young, like really young. So where she's from, you had to be 12 in order to receive the Eucharist. And as a young child, like she just, that's all she wanted was to be with God. Like she just wanted to be one with him. So um, when she was nine, she asked to go and live in a convent. So her parents allowed her to. Um, and then she like, she would always say, how can someone receive Jesus um, into their heart and not die? right? How can you receive Jesus into, into your heart and not die? So when she's 11 years old, she's praying at a mass. Everybody else receives communion. Um, the nuns are, and this is at the comment. So the nuns are, are getting ready to leave the church and they turn around and they see um, a host, right? Like the Eucharist hovering in the air above Imelda as she was kneeling before the tabernacle, just praying, right? So they grab the priest, right? Cause this is like, what the heck's happening? And all he could do, even though she wasn't of age to receive, all he could think to do is like, this is a miracle. I have to give her communion. Like I need to give her this. So she, he, she receives her first communion and it's her last one ever. Because when she receives her, um, her first communion and receives the Lord literally broke and she went unconscious and hit the ground. Um, and when like people tried to help pick her back up, that's when they realized that she, she was dead. Right. Um, crazy, crazy. Okay. Um, really crazy because during this time, like we, we cannot receive the Eucharist right now. Right. And that's hard. That's hard for us. Um, but I think we don't like, we take it for, um, advantage. Right, because sorry, hold on, I gotta put a pirate on a pirate ship. There you go. Um, because like it's a normal thing for us, right? Like even me, there was days that like before this, going to mass was kind of a hassle, right? I looked at it more as like instead of going for my heart and my soul and my own relationship with Christ, I thought of it more as like, oh, it's part of my job. Like I have to go to mass on Sunday, I have to be at six o'clock mass, yada yada yada. Not all the time, but sometimes. Okay, there it is. Um, and here, that's all she wanted. All she wanted, even as a child, was just to receive the Eucharist, right? Um, and I think this is kind of a wake-up call for us that, like, hey, it's something special, right? Like, mass, mass shouldn't be an inconvenience. Um, the Eucharist shouldn't just be, like, something you just get to receive and, like, that's it. We should be... We should be like excited. We should be looking forward to the mass. We should be looking forward to the Eucharist. We should, that should be our focus, right? Like that, that's it. That's what we need. 
Um, so we're going to do a little prayer to St. Imelda, which I love that name. Um, I'm going to put, there we go. If I move you guys a little bit, then I can see the prayer. Um, so I challenge you during this time um, to pray for the intercession of St. Imelda, that we can value the Eucharist even a fraction of what she valued it as, and that we can um, we can get through this this hard time, this this dark time where we're kind of closed off from people, um, that we can get through that, and that we can refocus on our faith and on our on our relationship with Christ. So again, weird if I'm praying by myself at you, really weird, kind of uncomfortable. I like to think that you guys are praying with me. Um, it makes me feel better. Otherwise, I'm just praying at a screen and people are watching. So we're going to we're gonna pray all together. Um, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you received into heaven blessed Imelda, who loved you even in the Eucharistic banquet. By her prayers, may we learn to approach your holy table with the same fervent love and so fulfill our longing to be with you who lives and reigns with the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Corbin, I'm glad that you pray with me. It makes me feel better. I don't feel like such a weirdo then. Um, yeah, so remember that there's a whole bunch of parishes in the diocese that are live streaming masses because the priests want us to be there with them. Um, and ours for Sunday is 10 a.m., right? So Father Eric is doing a daily mass on Facebook and YouTube at 8 a.m. And then he's doing his Sunday mass at 10 a.m. Um, last week he had music and incense. It was really, it was nice. It felt like you were home in church. So if you haven't watched a live mass since we've been stuck in our homes, please do so, right? Please do so. We still need to make spiritual communions. We still need to focus our hearts on our relationship with Christ. Um, and the Eucharist is still so, so, so important. Father Eric did a really cool um, procession yesterday at the Eucharist. And if you could, my toddlers, I didn't, you could go sit in the parking lot in your car and he took, brought Jesus outside to his people, um, to his parishioners. And that was really moving. I watched it live and it was, it was really moving to remember that like, like Christ is the center. Christ is the center. And Christ conquers the coronavirus, right? Christ conquers all. So we just have to believe, we have to trust, and we cannot fear. We cannot give in to fear, right? Um, it's fine to be scared because it's a weird time. We don't know what's going on, but we cannot give in to fear. We need to focus on Christ, and we need to remember how holy the Eucharist is, um, just as St. Imelda did. So tonight is Google Hangouts. It'll be hanging out with Gabby and I, woo -woo, maybe Alex if we're lucky. So if you want to be a part of that, um, it's totally fine if you're even like a graduated teen, whatever. I don't care. Let's all hang out. Let's all talk. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, DM me so that I can make sure that I add you into the, um, the Google Hangout tonight. I send the link to you. And if I don't have your email already and you want to be on it, send me your email. All right. I will see you guys at seven o'clock tonight. Google Hangouts. Bye.